Good morning, everyone. So I, I feel uh, so humbled and uh, honored to be on this uh, stage, uh, welcoming all of you for uh, this event that has, in fact, become a fixture in uh, the calendar for all the techies uh, uh, countrywide, not just in Bangalore. Uh, this is the 21st year when uh, we are continuing to do this uh, conference. Uh, earlier, we used to call it NASCOM Product Conclave. Now, uh, last few years, we have been calling it the, the NASCOM uh, Future Forge to emphasize uh, the element of uh, deep tech focus that uh, we want to bring in. Um, so. We will talk a little bit uh, about how the startup ecosystem in India has evolved uh, uh, and where it is today. What do we need to do to further uh, take it uh, to, the, to the next level? Uh, and we look at all the exciting things that we have planned for the next two days uh, for, for all of us. Uh, so if you look at the overall uh, landscape of startups in the country, uh, it's a very large number total tech startups in the country, but the, the more important thing I would call out is the number of deep tech startups. So the number of deep tech startups to, is, uh, is already in the few thousands. Uh, in terms of the deep tech startup community, we are today the sixth largest in terms of uh, the country's uh, sixth largest in the world uh, as a deep tech ecosystem. Um, and we call a subset of these startups as inventive deep techs. Uh, one thing is about using cutting edge technology to develop new use cases uh, and uh, developing commercial products out of, out of existing new technology that is emerging technology. Uh, the other element is actually extending the state of the art, uh, investing in deep IP creation, and uh, we are seeing that emergence of those kind of startups as well uh, more recently in the country. It's a moment of pride, pride for all of us that we have inventive deep tech startups, which are IP-led, IP-based, uh, to be uh, uh, 500 plus. And uh, the last two years has actually seen an explosion of uh, these uh, startups uh, onto the scene. Uh, obviously, Gen AI and the offshoots and the several applications that have emerged out of that is playing a big role in that. But it's not only just Gen AI, uh, it's, it's everything from robotics, climate tech, space tech, defense tech, uh, bioengineering and genomics and whatever you, you name it, right? So quantum. Uh, lots and lots of uh, very interesting and impactful areas where uh, we are seeing startups uh, actually emerge. And from a funding perspective as well, uh, last year we, we did see uh, about a billion dollars of funding into deep tech startups uh, in, in the country. Um, that said, there is a bit of a challenge with the funding scene as well. We'll talk about it and then what are we trying to achieve uh, with the deep tech council and, and uh, what all of you can do to help as well. So if you look at the total worldwide VC investments in deep tech, we can see a very accelerating picture, right? On the left side, you see a graph that clearly calls out that uh, uh, the, the last three, four, six years has actually seen an explosion of investments uh, into the, the emerging deep tech areas. Um, and we are also seeing, as we saw in the previous slide, a lot of new deep tech startups in the country. But at the same time, we are seeing that uh, funding in, in deep tech startups, especially in 2023, had, uh, had gone down. Um, it is, in fact, actually recovering. And over the last three to six months, I would say that the, the pace of investments are picking up. Uh, but there are some specific reasons why uh, the, the investment ecosystem and therefore the, the level of impetus that uh, deep tech startups especially get in the country uh, can can actually improve quite a bit and and we'll talk about what we are doing from a deep tech council perspective to uh, help with that uh, journey so nascom deep tech council is actually a council uh, that uh, uh, has brought together a lot of uh, community members volunteers uh, and of course the, the nascom team as well working together to uh, to as we call out in the vision to build India's deep tech startup ecosystem as a key engine of innovation growth for India. So if you are talking about Vixit Bharat by 2047, et cetera, right? So that is not going to happen unless we have a knowledge economy, where, where knowledge economy is actually the driving engine for uh, growth in the country. And uh, that is what uh, uh, NASCOM and the, through its deep tech council is, uh, has uh, set out to achieve. So these are the, the Deep Tech Council members. Uh, I won't name all of them, but uh, these are, they, they have played an instrumental part in uh, driving the guiding vision for, uh, for uh, the council. 
and uh, i do want to call out and uh, acknowledge uh, a long list of luminaries who have actually chaired the deep tech council uh, and uh, helped put together the vision for it and bring it to where it is today which we'll talk about uh, so starting from ravi gururaj and of course atul i see him uh, here on the front row as always like uh, really charged up and uh, and uh, getting the community going and uh, ram uh, who was a chair before me so uh, a lot of work has gone in to put together the structure of the council as well as the various work groups that are now working towards uh, various areas uh, that we need to all together come together and address to kick start the and in fact drive the next uh, order of magnitude of growth in and propelling our deep tech startups to the forefront of the world so these are some of the the working committees and tracks that we have set up and uh, this by the way while i call out some of these this is also a call to action for all of you in the room uh to look at uh, what we are doing in the in these areas and if any of you are passionate about uh, contributing back to the community impacting the startups in the deep tech ecosystem and have uh, expertise in any of these areas please reach out to any of us uh, we would love to engage you and uh, involve you in some of the work that we are doing through the the core committees so uh, these are some of the the, uh, co the this is the core team uh, structure and these are the committees that uh, we have so uh i'll briefly cover some of some of the big areas uh, that we want to make a difference in through the activities of the deep tech council and uh, and the working committees we have put together right so uh especially when it is ip led startups we need to actually look at uh, creating a comprehensive ip framework uh, in fact working with government uh, quite a lot as well to rethink elements of uh, uh, how we look at ip development in the country so that is a pillar of effort a patient capital if you look at the the nascent deep tech ecosystem in the country the funding model that is needed is uh, has to be very different from a traditional even a product led uh, startup the incubation period it takes for a deep tech product to really achieve product market fit uh, is a bit longer right so the capital frameworks that are required are very different so uh, there is a team of people who are working together in fact closely even with the government uh, uh, helping shape the thinking around can we do it through co investment models pulling in the venture capitalists uh, in the country who are interested in deep tech, deep tech to evolve a framework towards uh, towards this uh market access this has always been a key pillar of uh, what nascom has helped startups with helping connect them with uh, with companies through industry connect programs uh, as well as uh, uh, we we take some of these startups which are in slightly advanced stages of product market fit and business model fit to uh, the middle east to the us for example we organize something called innotrek which recently happened with a handful of startups who went to the us and had uh, fairly impactful meetings with the potential customers and others uh, um, investors and so on so that is something that we we uh, nascom team and and deep tech council uh, helps with and one of the key pillars in my opinion to really ch charge up the deep tech ecosystem is to do translation of academic research connecting our uh, top academicians in the country uh, with the startup ecosystem to really get commercial value out of products that are being created uh i see professor junjunwala here who has done a lot of uh, work in this space uh, iit madras research park today serves as actually a role model or example uh, for uh, so many other top tier institutes in the country to uh, emulate uh, in fact we have a session with him and uh, i'm sure a lot of you will be interested in hearing more about it so that is that is a big pillar of effort for us uh, how do we deeply connect the academia uh, and and uh, deep tech is an area which is very talent led right so at the end of the day the ip and knowledge economies are uh, created on the back of uh, great talent so there 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 are some focus areas around uh, talent and mentoring the companies that are uh, working in deep tech and all of that as well so thanks a lot for all the the volunteers who have already put in a lot of effort into uh, in, in coming together and uh, helping uh, drive this uh, this process of change that we are all very interested in uh, in seeing so this i already covered so um, so now coming to future forge i think uh, i always look forward to this uh, time of the year uh, and and i have made it a point to attend uh, future forge an earlier uh, product conclave now probably for 10 years in a row um, and this is the 21st year um, i won't read out all the stats but uh, there are there is a lot of energy excitement uh, i i feel very charged up meeting star startups 
lot of founders with very, very transformative ideas trying to change the world, right? So what better setting can there be for a techie to engage with your peer group uh, and others and uh, learn from what they're doing and maybe it'll spark off great ideas in your own head for doing something very different and transformative, right? So uh, lots of very, very interesting talks, master classes, uh, uh, round tables organized. Uh, we have uh, academicians coming. We have people from the government coming uh, who are in like India AI mission folks who are coming and so on and so forth, right? So very, very interesting set of uh, curated talks that have been uh, been uh, put together. Um, and uh, uh, I would be remiss if I don't thank the, the key people uh, that have been instrumental in putting this whole thing together. Uh, they say that it takes a village to raise a child. To put together an event of this magnitude with uh, thousands of uh, uh, attendees calling some of the luminaries in, in academia, industry, government, and uh, every, everybody to come and present uh, here on the stage and give their time and engage with us. Uh, it takes a lot of effort. So I want to thank, uh, of course, the core NASCOM team, uh, Kritika, Shreya, Maya, like I know the countless uh, hours that have uh, went into putting the, the event together. And, uh, and of course, the, the, the entire community of volunteers uh, who are instrumental in pulling the agenda together, helping with the invites and so on and so forth, right? Uh, and of course, I'm looking at Atul Arun, who has been very instrumental in, in uh, helping us uh, throughout the conception of the event. Uh, and uh, Ram as well, uh, has always been engaged, uh, the past chair, and he continues to be engaged with, uh, with driving uh, these events. So thanks a lot for for the community of people who have also helped, uh, and, and the NASCOM Executive Council and uh, our president, uh, uh, Rajesh, uh, here, who will, who will talk to us next, um, who have been a pillar of support for uh, putting an event of this magnitude together. So with that, uh, I will close my opening note uh, and, and welcome everyone again uh, for uh, this event. And, and uh, I'm confident that all of you will find great value in whatever you are hearing and all the interactions, networking, and other opportunities uh, that you look at uh, throughout the next two days. Thank you and welcome.